Hey, Panthers. Are you ready to raise your pulse? Because we start. Hey, hold on. Wesley, what are you doing? I've never looked at the green screen this way before. I mean, yeah, it, it's green. Wesley, we're trying to film. There's so much depth. It's beautiful. Hey Panthers! Are you ready to raise your pulse? Because, because we start right now! Let's cue the announcements. Hey y'all, NHS is running a fundraiser for the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. The goal is to raise $5,000 as a school. By raising the money through a competition called Penny Wars, we hope to help fund the research to find a cure to deadly blood cancers that affect many children and support families and students that are affected by these cancers. Here's how it works. In your fifth hour class, you will collect money and change, which started this week on Monday. If you raise enough money by Thursday to be in the top half of all classes, then you move on to the next round. There will be another cutoff Tuesday, January 30th. The last round is a war where classes battle to have the most points. All small change, pennies, nickels, and dimes are considered negative points. The rest, quarters on up, are considered positive points. Whoever has the most points, wins. Prizes are as follows. First place gets all of ready for lunch and a trophy. Second place gets a pizza party, eight Domino's pizzas, and third place gets ice cream bars. The class that raises the most money excluding online donations outside of the top three classes gets a pizza party. And the class with the best ratio of money to students Students outside of top three classes gets ice cream bars. The class that gets the most negative points outside of the top three gets a bag of candy. Good luck, classes. For Jared, she has been super busy. We earned a certificate in hands-only CPR and our yearly Stop the Bleed certifications. Along with everything we've done, our marksmanship team has a comp coming up. Then we have our battalion photo coming up on the 31st of January. That's all the events for this month before we start again in February, which is just as exciting. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm about to eat this potato. You're eating an uncooked potato. Well, I couldn't find the cooked one. You know, Mock Trial is having a baked potato fundraiser next week. Wait, really? Yeah, from January 29th to February 2nd, Mock Trial will be selling baked potatoes in the South Commons every day at lunch. That sounds way better than this. Not only will they have potatoes, but they will also have soda and chips. Okay, cool. I'll have to stop by. See, See you, you there. there. Wouldn't it be nice if you could have a delicious meal while also supporting your community? Well, now you can. On January 30th, Mock Trial is having a fundraiser at Culver's from 5 to 8 p.m. We hope to see you there, Panthers. Hey, Panthers. We're hope you're excited for Hoop Coming Week. Starting January 29th through February 2nd will be the Hoop Coming Spirit Week, along with the basketball tournament at lunch. On Monday will be Student Teacher Swap Day. Students dress as teachers and teachers dress as students. Tuesday will be Rhyme Without Reason. Find a partner and dress as two things that rhyme but don't make sense. Wednesday is Cupid Day. Wear your Valentine's colors. Thursday, show sports love. Come wearing your favorite team jersey or your sports team merch. And Friday is show your love for Coco. Come wearing all of your spirit gear. Throughout the week, we'll be having a basketball tournament at lunch. Be sure to sign up in room 204 on Monday. On Saturday is the Valentine's Ball. It will be held on February 3rd from 7 to 10 p.m. in the main gym. 
buy your tickets on GoFan, and we hope to see you there. Coconino High School's Tradition of Excellence continues this year with another Poetry Out Loud school-wide competition taking place on February 1st. Last year, CHS student Roxanne Tanawi claimed the Northern Arizona region title and represented CHS at the state competition. Other standout students who have represented Coconino are Oscar Samano and Sophia Weisinger, both of whom won the state title in a trip to Washington, D.C. to compete with the other state champions from across the nation. Oscar placed third in the national finals and Sophia made the cut for top seven in the country. To participate in this year's school competition, talk to your English teacher about signing up before Thursday, January 25th. IB Art has an exhibition coming up. Let's hear more about it. There will be an art show at 6 p.m. February 28th in North Commons. Come check out the IB Theory of Knowledge and Art Exhibit. The talent show will also be starting at 6.30 p.m. Hope to see you there. Remember when we used to throw random objects to Chris and Wesley to transition to sports? Yeah, I remember that. Look at what I got. Whoa, cool. Heads up, guys. What's up, Panthers? I'm Chris, and he's Wesley, and this is Panther Sports. Welcome back to Panther Sports, everyone. We're not even going to talk about what just happened. Instead, we're going to get right into it with wrestling. Wrestling had a tournament a few weeks ago at Winslow High. Congratulations to Nolan Wilson and Prairie Young Black Goat for tying for fifth. Good job wrestling in the tournament, and now for girls soccer. Girls soccer had three matches this past week. JB tied twice and lost their other game, while Varsity won, tied, and lost in all three matchups. Good job to girls soccer this week. Now for boys soccer. Boys soccer had two matches as well this past week. JV went 2-0, while Varsity went 1-1. One one. Good job to boys soccer. Now for girls basketball. Girls basketball had two games this past week. Freshmen went 0-2, while JV and Varsity went 1-1. One one. Good job to girls basketball. Now for boys basketball. Boys basketball also had two matches this past week. Freshmen went 0-1, JV went 1-0, and, and Varsity went 1-1. One one. Good job to boys basketball this week. All right, well that's it for results. Now let's get to upcoming games. Wrestling has two matches this week. The first is today at Flag High for the Flagstaff Multi-Duel at 4 p.m. And the other match starts on Friday and lasts until Saturday for the Tim Van Horn Memorial at Payson High School with unknown start times. Now for girls soccer. Girls soccer has two home games this week. The two games are on Friday against Minis Union and on Tuesday against Bradshaw Mountain. Start times are JV at 1 and Varsity at 3. So good luck to girls soccer as they are fighting for a playing spot right now. Let's get to boys soccer. Boys soccer only has one game this week, which is today against Mojave with JV at one and Varsity at three. Good luck to boys soccer as we believe in you. Now for girls basketball. Girls basketball has two games this week. The first is tomorrow in Bullhead City against Mojave with freshman at four and JV at 530. The second is on Tuesday against Flag High at home with freshman at four, JV at 530 and Varsity at seven. Good luck to girls basketball. Beat the Eagles. Now for boys basketball. Boys basketball has one game this week at Coconino against Mojave. Start times are freshmen at 4, JV at 5.30, and varsity at 7. Good luck to boys basketball, who also happen to be fighting for a playing spot. We will be live tomorrow on Tuesday at 7 p.m. on the NFHS Network for some Coconino boys and girls basketball. Oh, look at the time. I got to go. I'll, I'll see you later, Chris. Wesley, Wesley, wait. No. Well, looks like I'm all alone. I guess there's some conference championship football this week. Well, anyways, that's it for sports this week. All right, let's go back to the main HQ. Would you look at that? We've reached the end of another episode. So great. Wesley, we're trying to say goodbye to our viewers. Oh, cool, let me do it with you guys. Remember to face your fears, Panthers. Say, say it with me. Right. Roar! Roar!
the... We got Mr. Potato Head here. <laughs> I'm about to beat somebody with the bat, bro. <laughs> Girls bat. Let's go back to the main HQ.